this video i'll be explaining a diagram which you must draw on your exam to impress the teacher so pressure side and tension side as you all know so by the theory of schwarz so coming on to the uh, first one if we have a blood vessel uh, because it is an inflammatory reaction so what will happen is leukocytes will migrate and there will be periodontal vasodilation on the pressure side all right then what happens is the pdl cells they release some chemokines which attract the inflammatory and precursor cells from microvasculature into the extravascular space okay then monocyte chemoattractant protein mcp you have to remember these ccl2 ccl3 ccl5 then remember there are three receptors cytokine receptor prostaglandin receptor and rankle receptor so cytokine remember all these il1 beta tnf alpha il6 0.5 leukocyte adhesion and migration they basically cause this then prostaglandins we, we all know they increase the vascular permeability vasodilation and they lead to the inflammatory cell adhesion rankle remember the full form receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa beta ligand yeah so basically it is a type 2 membrane protein it is a member of the uh, super family of the tumor necrosis factor it controls the bone remodeling then what happens is when all of them attach we see that the osteoclast precursors they fuse with each other and they lead to the formation of an osteoclast osteoclast is a multinucleated giant cell around 12 or more nuclei this is derived from hematopoietic stem cell of the monocyte macrophage lineage so it will lead to the resorption now coming on to the tension side in tension side what you will see is uh, basically what we have is blood vessel then we have stem cells and we have mesenchymal stem cells on the application of the force you will see that there is they differentiate into pre osteoblast now these pre osteoblast have so many stages these pre osteoblast they will first be committed osteoprogenitor cells then g1 uh, pre osteoblast stress and strain that is orthodontic force then g2 stage pre osteoblast then osteoblast okay then local osteoblast and osteocytes okay they express the uh, transforming growth factor beta proliferation demineralization and so on then they also release chemokines all this list you must remember and then pre osteoblast will convert into osteoblast it lays down an osteoid then bone deposition occurs at the tension side so this completes the biology of the movement 